everyone, I am Kareel People Tinka and this video contains an advocating the use of the 14 learning principles. We all know that if we are not willing to learn, nobody can help us. If we are determined to learn, no one can stop us. Learning is essential to our existence, just like food nourishes our bodies. Information and continued learning nourishes our minds. To live a life without continuous learning is unthinkable. The purpose of education is shifting due to the exponential growth in access to information in the past 50 years. Education now needs to foster lifelong learners. To transform the value we place on what we already know and to create new networks for dialogue, reflection, and contextual application of learning in the real world. In this context, we need educational models that reconnect learners with others and with learning models that are person-centered while also addressing needs for challenging learning experiences. From a person or learner-centered view, the current focus on content must be balanced with a focus on individual learners and their learning needs in an increasingly complex and fast-changing world. This balance is essential if we are to adequately prepare students for productive and healthy pictures. It is also appropriate response to students' reports that school is irrelevant. School, when they can be learning outside of school, from real-life experiences to inform technologies as the internet. To guide the process of transforming education and to inform educators on how best to apply educational technology in the teaching and learning process. However, a knowledge base is needed. This knowledge base should be one built upon research validated principles of learning and change in complex human living system such as education. Education is one of many complex living systems that function to support particular human needs. Such systems are by their nature unpredictable but can be understood in terms of principles that define human needs, cognitive and motivational processes, development, and individual differences. Hence, I strongly advocate for the use of the 14 psychological principles. These principles pertain to the learner and the learning process. The 14 principles are divided into those referring to cognitive and metacognitive, motivational and effective, developmental and social, and individual differences factors influencing learners and learning. These principles are intended to apply to all learners, from children, to teachers, to administrators, to parents, and understanding learning and motivation as natural process that occur when the condition and context of learning are supportive of individual learner needs, capacities, experiences, and interests. Attention to this knowledge base about learners and learning on the human processes and on personal and interpersonal relationships, beliefs, and perception that are affected by and are supported by the educational system as a whole. The foundation of the research-validated learner-centered principles is essential to designing technology, supported practices that attend holistically and systematically to the needs of all learners. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something.